All right, Joey Rats. Post cancer diagnosis, you were selected to be on the Kalamazoo Wings as a defenseman. How does that sound to you? Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to be here. This is such an incredible opportunity, and to be back on skates is just uh, something that I could have never imagined. Dropping back to 2018, myself as a student broadcaster for the Arizona State Sun Devils, watching you play, I don't think I ever had it in my mind that you would be battling for your life. What was it like to be at Arizona State and to be able to progress forward in your professional career from there? Arizona State was was one of the best uh, decisions I've ever made to, to go to school there, and they gave us so many incredible resources to be the best athletes that we can be, and so grateful that um, I was able to go there and, and have them help uh, support my, my first year going pro. Your first stop is with the Utah Grizzlies, then you make your way overseas like a lot of players do. Walk me through those first three seasons of professional hockey for you. Yeah, so uh, starting off in the ECHL was was a great start. I um, the Utah really took me under their wing. A ton of amazing players that played there, and and then uh, going overseas, starting off in the League Magnus, and then uh, finishing off with the Coventry Blaze. Uh, with the Coventry Blaze, I started uh, having a few uh, different uh, symptoms of I didn't I never would have thought it was cancer by any means, uh, but I was getting mouth ulcers and and um, I was having problems with breathing throughout games and practices. Um, and it, it wasn't like to any type of extreme where, where they wanted me to get checked for cancer, but uh, it was definitely a, uh, a part of my, my game. What was the diagnosis? So initially, when I, when I got back from the UK, I, uh, I had a biopsy. I had a small tumor on my neck. It was a golf ball-sized tumor that turned into the size of a football. And uh, they thought that I had three days to maybe a three, a few weeks, two to three weeks to live. Uh, this this uh, biopsy confirmed testicular cancer, uh, with a few different other types of tumors that were metastatically spreading, which which spread into my lungs. And they started the treatment fast and just wanted to get hands on right away. Take me back to the moment you found out that you only had a couple days to live. What goes through the thought process in the hours and days after a medical professional tells you something like that? Oh my gosh, uh, we there are so much emotions. My my wife was by my side the entire time. Uh, we were we were praying every day, and and we knew that that everything was going to be okay, whether whether um, whether I was going to live or not, but. We, uh, we, we were super positive and optimistic and um, had, had so much faith in God to, to continue to strive and, and fight for my life. From start to finish, what year was it when you found out and what was the timeline and treatment like for you? Yeah, May of 20, 2022 is when I found out about my uh, diagnosis and um, we were trying to get as many answers as possible. Uh, I had a few different uh, people check me out and to confirm what type of uh, treatment plan we were going to go. And um, it just spread so fast. I, I got n- pneumonia. There was one point in time where after starting chemotherapy, I, I passed out, hit my head, and um, was rushed to the ambulance, almost passed away. And then a few other times where if I didn't get a transfusion within within a few minutes um, of getting to the hospital, I, I, I could not be here today. Friends family, wife, and the hockey community. How did they ensure that you survived? Oh my gosh, uh, I'm so grateful for their support. They, they, were, they were there for me every single day. I'm, I'm so grateful for my friends and family. And I had people sending me uh, gifts from, from the UK with, with things that were helping me with my, with my recovery. And I had uh, friends and, and ASU alumni come to the hospital while I was getting treatment. When I was bald and when I was the most vulnerable, I didn't want to be really seen by anyone because I I've never been that uh, that in in such a weak position in my life and and they they were there for me the entire time with their arms out, so I'm I'm incredibly grateful for them and especially my wife she uh, she's my savior um, she's I, I like to call her my angel because she actually saved my life and and I'm I'm so incredibly blessed to have her in my life and and to be there for me when I couldn't walk, talk, or, or when I was even on auction. Um, I really could not su- survive on my own. When you get the cancer free, good to go, what goes through your mind? Is it immediately I'm playing professional hockey again? Yeah, so ever since I was diagnosed to finishing chemo and then transitioning into other holistic remedies, I've, uh, I've just felt like 
each month I was like, wow, like there's no way I can get better. And there, like each time, because I had neuropathy and I, I couldn't feel my hands and feet. And and I, I had so much brain fog where I just, I was like, is this going to be forever? And um, I, I just continued to, to stay strong, to persevere and, and find new things that worked for me that helped me uh, get more energy and, and be a better person person be a better hockey player and every month it just it, it continues to grow you talked about being a better person and a better hockey player how does post everything you've been through go into how you attack life every single day it's a such a new vision on life just being grateful for everything that you have and helping others there are so many and my heart goes out to anyone that's going through cancer that has to go through chemotherapy because it was the truly the hardest challenge of my life um, I was at ground zero. Um, I, I really wasn't there for myself. I wasn't there for my wife. I wasn't there for my family. And it, it's, it hurts when you, when you can't be there, and especially as a man, when you want to be there for, for others. So um, being where I'm at today and, and being able to provide for my family and provide for my wife and, and show her the man that I'm, I'm meant to be, it just, it, there's really no words that, that can express how, how good I feel. You're on the cusp of wearing the red, white, and blue and getting a chance to, to skate in a regular season game. What are the emotions going to be like when you get that opportunity? You know, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm so incredibly blessed, and it's, it just it really, it really hits me hard because I, I never thought I'd be able to, to be in this situation um, when I when I couldn't walk and when I had aches and pains going throughout the bones in my entire body, to be able to be able to be on the ice and to be able to to be there for my teammates and and to show others what I've gone through, um, it's just it's so powerful and I'm I, I I really truly feel like I'm not only helping myself but I'm helping everyone around me. Last question. Now, after you've walked through this path, what advice do you have for not just other athletes that are battling cancer or other ailments, for anyone who is challenged with their life after your experience? Initially, um, I, I never thought that this would ever happen to me. I was such a strong individual, mentally, physically, spiritually. And uh, when my body stopped working for me, um, I was just truly shocked. I, I did everything possible to, uh, to fight it. Um, and I was super stubborn. I, I didn't, I, I've gone to the doctor before and I just, I knew I could beat it because I'm a strong hockey player. And, and uh, any advice that I would give others is, is you know your body better than anyone else. When you are having any sort of aches and pains, um, ask questions, find, find help. If someone's not giving the answers that you need or, or that you are finding resonating with you, then then find someone else and ask more questions because you know your body so so well, and there's so many people that are willing to help you and, and fight with you. Um, you're not on your own. My guy, I'm so blessed to have had you come back into to my life and especially into the Gay Wings organization. I cannot wait to see what you do once you get to throw that jersey over your head and start banging again i know from previous experience it's gonna be exciting so i just i thank you so much for your perseverance and uh, for this opportunity to witness your story oh my gosh I, i'm so grateful for you chris uh just this new uh new vision and and new next level energy that i have i just can't wait to to help this organization and get back onto the ice best of luck this season buddy thank you so much chris